Welcome to learning react with me. In my previous videos, we have seen the concept of prop and state with examples in both class-based and functional components. I have provided links in the description in case you missed those concepts. Now, let's see few differences between props and state. Firstly, props are always objects. Even state is also an object. However, in functional component, when we use hook, state need not be an object. It can be a string, integer, or an array as well. Next, parent components pass data to child component using props. So, props establish parent to child communication. Whereas, state is internal to a component and holds information of that specific component. Once props are passed to child components, they cannot be updated. Props are read-only and immutable. But component can update state values using set state in case of class-based components or using the function returned by useState hook in case of functional components. Another difference is, child components have access to props, whereas state of parent component cannot be accessed by child component. Props allow us to reuse the component just by changing the input values. However, state doesn't really help in reusing a component since every component has its own state. Components which maintain state are called stateful components. The components which do not have state are called stateless components. Stateless components do not have state, whereas stateful components have props along with state. And the last difference is, props are external to a component. Its control lies outside the component since they come from a parent component. Components have full control over their state since it is internal to the component. So these are the major differences between state and props. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro.